anyway. And I'm happy to be sad because there's always good and bad like a tree given shade or a prayer being prayed I can't hide what up uh, we're just finishing up this stove today it is almost done what I did was uh, made a base for it finally so I had a few different designs about the uh, feet and I didn't really know what I wanted to go with um, as you can see here I thought it was gonna be something more like this which was just like some kind of square that was open on one side but what I found at the junkyard was this just seemed a little bit more structurally sound so uh, what I did was I got a base and I actually found this on the ground it was like buried underneath some dirt and I thought it was kind of ironic that it's like you know for gas and we're using it for wood but anyway I, it's metal so uh, it's pretty thick steel of some kind. And then I got, uh, from the junkyard, I just got two of these feet um, from uh, Habitat for Humanity. And they're actually for hanging ducks, I believe. They had all different kinds of these kind of feet. Um, so it was really, I had a lot to choose from. Um, and then also at the junkyard, I found the perfect amount of bolts found eight bolts in a pack um, it's kind of hard to find screws and bolts for the right size there but I did and it, another kind of funny thing is they're called stove bolts I don't know what kind of stove it goes to but it's actually going to a wood stove so um, pretty good finds if you just know how to keep your eyes open um, and uh, yeah so we'll get this done oh I also uh, painted everything black with uh, this which is actually it can go up to uh, a pretty high temperature it says uh, 1200 degrees Fahrenheit is this and I don't think I'm gonna be going much over 600 degrees or at the most 700 or 800 but I doubt it so so I got this in here I'm just trying to like figure out where is the best way to put it starting to get dark outside so it's not the best lighting but um so it, it's got to go out here which is the hole i still have to cut the top hole but you can see kind of where it's going to go out and then it's going to have another plate on top of that as well and then it'll be insulated on the inside so i got to do it safely to where it won't burn that and i got some heat barrier silicone to do that and I'm just trying to figure out where the best place to put it would be. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Alright, it's nighttime here, so I'm kind of dark, but got it going. Um, over here, I uh, did a plate to cover up all the holes. Got it all put in, got some bolts from the store, got it attached under here. And then I have the intake in. So this is where air is going to be going in to fuel the fire. And my biggest concern right now is, is that going to be enough airflow in? Um, I might have to put some kind of blower on it or something, something small. Yeah.